yeah, Doc Rivers, man. So yesterday I told you he had 29 um, series clinching games losses. Yeah. So um, that was actually now? a mistake. Oh. Um, the 29, I forgot to include the two losses to the Raptors last season when they were up 3-0. Oh. So the update account was actually at 31, and now it's at 32. He's 17 and 32. <laughs> All time, which you told me yesterday, you're like, that's the record of the Charlotte Hornets in February. He has this deep of a catalog. Listen, Yo, some if, of this. If, is... if, if I had Doc Rivers' <laughs> like, record in elimination games, I'd start tanking. Like, no, I, I, you can, Doc Rivers can go for Wemby in elimination games, man. Listen, some of this is longevity, but uh -huh. I'm only giving longevity like 10% of the credit No, how for you... this record. Like, seven, he has tried to clinch a series and lost. 32 times. How is that even possible, though? That's it, the thing. It that... blows my mind. I was messed up, man. I was on B-Ball Reference. I was B-Ball Paul yesterday, no, man. The, the funniest thing with Doc, and I mean... That's that not even don't funny. make no sense. It, it's really just he's old. Like, there's nothing really to make fun about. Sure. But it is funny because, like, the game will be, like, slipping from the Sixers' hands yeah. in crunch time like it was last night. Uh -huh. And then the camera pan over to, pe uh, to Doc on the sideline, and he's just, like, bent over, like, hands <laughs> on knees, like, he just looks exhausted. I'm just like, are you sure you want to keep doing this, man? Yo, is there a coach that draws less confidence when they when the television camera pans to? Uh, Bud, actually. So, <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Bud also has this face where when the camera pans over to him, mm -hmm. Bud just looks like, you know, he just looks disgusted, like he had all smelled right. flatulence somewhere. Like, uh, that's 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 the face. That's the exact face I Bud might, has all the time. You know what? I put Joe Missoula there, too. He always looks puzzled. He's like, can I pull out my phone and Google what to do uh, right oh, now? Man. Can I go to ehow.com? That's the thing. Like, did they not? Did what? they not? Fill his assistant coaching staff with like more experienced guys. I don't think you know what so. I mean? Like, why doesn't there like a Mike D'Antoni like well, voice on the team? Yeah, I think they should put Hubie Brown there, man. Um, I man. think I wasn't really familiar with your game. <laughs> I think um, I think them letting Will Hardy go. I mean, the sequence of events was something they couldn't control because I think mm -hmm. the Ime Doka thing obviously happened. Um, but I, I think they would have pr pretty much much preferred Will Hardy, especially looking at the job that he did in Utah. I don't know, man. It's just like. I don't know why we waited so long to have a conversation about, you know, a team with the best talent in the league, arguably, yeah. and the Celtics being coached by by a rookie coach, right? With this lack of experience. Like, we've seen it. We've seen it be a detriment to them in the series. Yeah, and, and this is, I think, you know, going back to the all the conversations I had about Nick Nurse, right? Like, I think sometimes people think back and it's like, well, 2019, you had so much talent on that team. Like, a lot of people could have coached that team to a victory. Mm -hmm. And it's like, no, not necessarily. Like, you actually do need, like, the coaching to match the talent, right? And I think in this scenario, obviously there's more chances. I think with Joe, he ultimately made the move that really was able to sort of um, give his team the advantage, right? We'll see he's able to counter the counter now from Doc Rivers, mm. who's famously known for its game seven counters. Yeah, by the way, I didn't like the um, fact that you called it a chess match. Um, uh, Doc Rivers, Joe Mazzula. Can we can we downgrade that a little bit? Can we call it a connect four, maybe? <laughs> no, they're, they're, a go fish? This is going to be a go fish match? Because one of them's going fishing. You want to say they're playing checkers? <laughs> yeah, yeah, checkers too. No, but the Mahjong. Thing is, the, the <laughs> it's thing a was, Mahjong match. In this scenario too, it's like with, with the Celtics, like you're essentially handed... You're basically dealt pocket aces. Sure. Like, they don't have, okay, they don't have, like, maybe, maybe it's not pocket aces because they don't mm -hmm. have, like, one of the best players in the league. Sure. Right? So maybe, like, pocket kings. Sure. But, like, you should be able to play pocket kings successfully and, and, and maximize profit. But the way Joe Mazzula plays pocket kings just makes me sweat. Like, I feel like I'm down in, in, yeah. in the whole set. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, no, I hear so you. So I, I feel like for him, like, you know, he, he's he's really emphasized the three-point shooting, which I think is, is good for them. Like, mm -hmm. they need to shoot a lot of threes. That's how they create high variance. But I think more than anything else, you need to also play, like, defense. And I think that last night, that was an encouraging sign, was they were able to defend at a much higher level. They won in, the, in, in crunch time, not because Jason Tatum made, like, those huge threes, but mostly because they literally prevented the Sixers from scoring, right? Like, mm -hmm. holding them to one point in crunch time, essentially, is more important to me than a guy making a couple of threes. Like, it could have been someone else making those threes, you know what I mean? But I think that's what the Celtics, if they have actual championship ambitions, they need to actually play defense the way they're capable of. And last year, they were playing defense at a super high level, and this year, they're just not. Yeah. Also, what happened to Grant Williams, by the way? And not not to say, I, I you know, last he's, year... I, he's DMP boys right now, man. But he, is he, isn't he good, though? He, does he I feel shoot? like his face might have been shattered in half by Embiid. Uh, you know what? That's fair. He, <laughs> he did get stepped he on. He Android 16, man. We're going to ask Boston Willu next week if he uh, gets the Android 16 reference okay. as well. I, I hope so. A couple more Doc Rivers stats. Um, mm -hmm. He's now on an eight-game losing streak in serious clinching games in the second round. So blew a 3-1 lead in, in 2015 with the Clippers to Houston, blew a 3-1 lead in the bubble with the Clippers to Denver, 
loss in game seven. Uh, this was known as the Ben Simmons game to Atlanta mm. uh, two years mm-hmm. ago. And last night is now eight in a row. He's also lost nine times in a game seven, which is four more than any other head coach. You got to do better fam. in in NBA history. I was not familiar with your game, Doc. Um, Wait, if, does, yeah. that, does that not include? Technically, you could have clinched the series in game seven against the Raptors. No, that was Brett Brown. That was Brett Brown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. People did point that out to me. Bad, it was Brett bad, Brown. Um, I, did, I didn't realize how much research you've been doing these days, man. Yeah, I'm bored. 